are incisions for upper and lower eyelid surgery supposed to extend over a half inch out from the eye? These pictures are five weeks post-op. My eyelids are still red and puffy and the incisions look bad. I did go back to the surgeon and he put Botox in the corners of the eyes to aid in healing and to help it look better. I did not see any improvement. I also have a bulge in the inner corner of my eye. Thank you for your question. I understand your concerns five weeks after your cosmetic upper and lower eyelid surgery about the appearance of the incisions and uh, a concern about some puffiness on the inner corner. Well, to begin with, it's very important that you maintain communication with your doctor. As a specialist in cosmetic eyelid surgery, uh, approximately 20% of my practice involves revisional work where people come to me from all over the world um, to enhance or rev revise surgery done elsewhere. And I do emphasize in any discussion with the prospective patient um, for revision work is to continue their follow-up with their doctor to see if any of the issues they're concerned about can be resolved. Uh, you, if you're asking about the style of the incision, I can tell you that many, many plastic surgery textbooks show that exact curved shape for removal of skin in the upper eyelid. I can also share with you that it's not something I necessarily do in my practice. I feel that um, in, in my hands and in my, for my aesthetic, the design is a little bit different. Now that is basically the case for almost any doctor you would ask, that they would do it in their style, in their way. Um, a lot of times when people have come to me early with a, an appearance such as this, after several months, and even as much as a year, eventually the incision line does have a tendency to fade, especially in people who have light skin. And in the beginning, it can look significant. Now, again, the options for revision and other things are always there, but when it's this early in the healing stage, um, it's basically, you have to wait and see where things go. Um, your surgeon, I'm sure, will be guiding you as to how to manage the incision and what to do to take care of it properly. Um, basic rules of thumb involve avoiding excess sun exposure, um, wearing some type of moisturizer with a sunblock uh, to protect the skin. And if it's necessary, I'm sure um, your surgeon would be uh, willing to do any kind of enhancement. In, in the field of plastic and cosmetic surgery, um, the enhancements are um, always part of the responsibilities that we as surgeons take on when we do this type of work. Um, ultimately, the aesthetic result of eyelid surgery can take several months to fully appreciate. Um, I tell my patients um, six months to even up to a year if there's issues related to fluid and swelling. So um, if you, to answer your question, is the, that incision normal? Well, it is something that's within the standard of care and it is something that many plastic surgeons advocate. Um, my style is different, but that does not mean that your surgeon did in any, in any way anything wrong. So uh, moving forward, I would suggest you communicate with your surgeon if for any ish reason your surgeon is not being as cooperative or as communicative as you like, then of course a, an additional opinion. Um, my personal bias is to meet with um, a specialist in eyes, um, purely based on um, experience and if their practice is very focused on cosmetic, um, you might get a little bit of a balanced sense of what to anticipate as time goes on. I hope this was helpful and I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.